Welcome back to the Friday vlog series. In this video, I'm gonna try and stick the wind space upside down on the top of my car <laughs> and then drive away. So stay tuned for that. Additionally, I have been getting a ton of questions about am I in bed with BMC or sponsored by BMC after my trip? As a result, what's going on with the Ells Falleth build? I've got a bit of an update for you on the Trifox build. And I've been getting tagged a lot in a video that Hambini did on a BMC road machine recently, so I want to respond to that. But just know, before we get into the meat of this video, obviously this Ells Falleth situation is out of my control. So this video serves mostly as an update video, which I know a lot of people appreciate. So if that's you, make sure you give the video a like. But there is no bike scans, reviews, or sparks flying out of my ass in this video just letting you know now let me be clear because i have had a lot of questions on this since my recent trip to bmc hq in switzerland i am not sponsored by bmc i don't have any arrangement or contract with bmc all they did was fund a trip for me to go from australia to switzerland and return which cost roughly a third of what i've seen being speculated online i think 10,000 usd which is about 15,000 aud it was less than a third of that i went in economy style so as a result of that as always i have full freedoms to say and do as I please on this channel. And in November, this month, 2022, what we will be doing is building up this Trifox X10 or times 10 frame set currently valued at 639 USD dollars. We're putting on the Sensar Empire group set and these elite wheels, which have been sitting in my office for about two months. Well, we should probably unbox them quickly to make sure there's no issues or damage with them. So just give us a sec. Looks pretty good. Now the name of the model, I can't remember off the cuff. I'll put it on the screen. But these were the cheapest sort of carbon wheels I could find on their website. So for the price, they look pretty good. Spoke tension all feels pretty good. Now what's funny about the Elite Wheels is their marketing person has emailed me a few times asking if I would review their wheels obviously doesn't know about this project and even followed me up in September. And I'm thinking to myself, I've got the wheels, I've paid for them myself. I guess they'll get a free review out of it, but I could almost guarantee at some point in the future, there will be a select few that- Ah, uh, Captain China's at it again. Ah, uh, he's in bed with Trifox now, I see. Ah, uh, he's in bed with elves, I see. But why are we bringing the Trifox back to life when the elves fell off? was clearly the crowd favorite at the Carbon Steed inspection and the J Taylor eyeball. We're bringing the Trifox back to life for two reasons. Reason number one, this frame, as many of you will know, there is a UCI version being developed as we speak. And when they found out I was gonna build this frame up, they said, hold on a sec, we've got a UCI frame prototype you can gain access to. Instead, I said, all right, let's wait. Four weeks ago, I said it was gonna be four weeks. I've just recently heard it's gonna be probably another four to six weeks. Reason being, they had built up the Elves Falleth UCI prototype. I've seen a picture of it. I can't share it with you, unfortunately, but somebody made a decision to change the design a little bit. So they now have to create a new mold, create some more prototypes. So we're probably talking 2023 now. Reason number two is obviously the Elves Falleth UCI update curveball derailed the original goal of this project, which was to build the cheapest race bike money can buy. And many of you have let me know about that in the comment section. So how about we bring back to life the original goal of this project and also the original winner. Yes, the Elves won on my Instagram poll and the Trifox won on my YouTube poll, but my Instagram following is pathetic compared to my YouTube. So overall votes wise, Trifox actually did win. Now, please know we will be doing both. So we'll build the Trifox in 2022. And I assume the Els Falleth new UCI updated frame will come in 2023. And I'm kind of interested now that both Gary and Jay have said, mm, questionable manufacturing, not nicely finished. Does that really matter when it comes to riding experience? I guess we'll find out. Now, 
the Hambini video. So for those of you who are unaware, Hambini has a YouTube channel, link below, and has an elaborate background as a senior engineer working for organizations across cycling, motorsports, and I believe aerospace to name a few. In other words, he's a smart dude that knows a lot about bike engineering, but why am I mentioning him here on this channel? Well, firstly, we're on the same platform, but secondly, and most importantly, he timed this video to perfection. I just returned from my BMC trip to Switzerland with still plenty of content up my sleeve and he published a video titled Swiss Cheese Times BMC Bike Frame Reamed. Ever since that video was published, where? He identified two manufacturing flaws in an older generation robe machine. My comments sections have erupted with sentiment pointing back to this video to a point where I genuinely feel cornered like I need to say something in order to alleviate future negativity about BMC on this channel. So I recently decided to up my game on YouTube. I wanna create better quality videos. So last week I went to my local retailer and purchased a Sony A7 IV for $3,500 AUD. This isn't it, but as an example, I pulled it out of the box, charged it up, and then I went through the menu system to set the camera up. As I was going through the menu system, the body of the camera started to heat up. Now, when you're recording, particularly in 4K, a camera body will heat up, but never in a menu system. Also, the battery life was draining very quickly, so I rang Sony support on a Sunday, went through their testing protocols, and they agreed that the camera was faulty. So they suggested I take it back to the local retailer, Camera House, which I did, and they replaced the camera. Didn't have a Sony a7 IV, had one of these bad boys instead, so I took this instead. Now the reason why I tell you that story, big companies don't get it right all the time for whatever reason, but my experiences with Sony and their retailers over the past four to five years has been Excellent, and I know their cameras, their technology delivers time and time again in terms of quality production. And despite the occasional cock up, I genuinely have faith that Sony are trying their very best to ensure every product meets a certain standard. And when it comes to BMC, I have the same relationship. Yes, they're gonna cock things up every now and then, but all companies do, particularly the big ones where they've got huge exposure and if anything after my trip to bmc switzerland and meeting the staff there they are genuinely proud and passionate people about bikes and i'm more of a fan now of bmc than i ever was so now that you know my view about this topic hopefully we can all move on so this is a bike rack with suctions on it that you put on top of your car and then you put your bike on top of the suction things oh, shit. and then you drive off <laughs> So that's what I'll be sticking on the car. We've got three of them. This is an electric thing that sucks it all together. We should be good to go, so stay tuned. Okay, everything is plugged in. I'm gonna push one of these buttons. Definitely sucking them in. Oh, and that's sucked in. That's, that's not going anywhere. That's amazing. I literally thought this was gonna take me hours and it's taken me like five minutes. I'm so sorry, Scott. So the guy that sent me this bike rack, he's a supporter of the channel. He sent me one for free in order to show you guys. So if you wanna check it out, link below. But it's taken me a while to put on because I normally just open the back door and slide it in. <laughs> that bang, the bike. But quite often we go away as a family and we take two cars because I wanna bring my bike. Now that I've got that, I reckon we can take the one car. <laughs> you reckon? I thought Can you it was believe a it? Toy for the kids. Can you hold the camera for me? Okay. It just looks really weird. I'm not used to seeing a bike upside down on a car before. Just gonna do a few lappies out there. Can oh you yeah. Watch. Just make sure. I'm do a burnout. Ready? <laughs> so he seems to be going about 25 kilometres an hour here. What a test. Commentating. <laughs> it worked. Well, yes, dude. 50 meters. Yeah, 50 so meters. How much when we go to the Goldie next day. Eh? Yeah, eh? Yeah. 